here first create apex form tag to use input field then apex page block with a suitable title as new account then apex page block section with a suitable title as account information now get the apex input field before we proceed with the input fields import we need to define some attributes in apex class first we create an account object for the account like obj is equal to new sorry we need to define the getter setter method for this so first getter setter method for this account object get set and then allocate the memory for that object then create a method public page reference save this is overriding the save method defined in standard controller S page reference is reference to the page for this method that means this method will be reference to the page and it will return nothing that means null also it can return a papex page that means when you will uh, that means this after saving executing this method the page will be redirected to that method uh, i mean to that page but this time will return null later i will show you how to redirect to another page like why after saving a record you will be redirected to the view view page of that record also you can create the custom view page to s display record using the account id anyways we'll continue so we have the account getter setter method here and the memory allocated to save record this account object still have nothing in it so first we need to use the input field where the value would be exclamatory sign this dot name okay before we proceed we need to define the object as public and then we will try to save the record save the page see we have the input field here so first we need to define the getter setter method in public and then we need to define the memory for this and then use the input field here same as you can use two different object name to import to different field like suppose you have public contact c obj 
get set then you allocated the memory c obj is equal to new contact okay now you want to display the contact input input field in the same visual force page so you have to use cobj name dot name for this see name is a read only field here so <coughs> here uh, or you can use cobj first name see first name is a input field or you can use last name as well so a single visual force page having two input field one of account and another is contact so like this by creating the object for different uh, creating the object for different uh, you know different object in salesforce these are the object for this object actually in salesforce these are the class inbuilt defined i'll show you later how this class has been written so we are creating this object we are allocating the memory and then we are using the field defined in it okay apart from this we need to concentrate on our target what we are trying to do so we have the account name first you need to remove the referenced in visual force page to remove a method or any object otherwise we will not be able to do that see so then we need another we will uh, use another few fields like account number here the API name for the account number is account number without space in between account and number then suppose phone then suppose site etc so we got four fields here another field I'll use is the revenue annual revenue now the process will be like defined in custom controller that if account revenue is more than 1 million then the rating would be hot if it's less than 1 billion then the rating would be cold this will automatically 